Hey everyone, it's Everything Heap here. In this video, I am going to be looking at 5 reasons why I think Windows 8.1 is actually better than Windows 10. When Windows 10 came out, it was known for fixing some issues that people had with Windows 8.1 and helped people embrace the modern versions of Windows, if you will. However, I have started using Windows 8.1 on the daily again as I started bringing my HP Envy to school instead of the Chromebook that the school gave me. Using Windows 8.1 again made me realize some things it does way better than Windows 10 and 11 to a certain extent. The first reason is tablet usage. Windows 8.1 was designed pretty much to be used exclusively with touchscreen devices and mostly tablets, whereas Windows 10 was built more for usage on both devices. This does make Windows 8.1 better to use on tablets, however. If you want to know more about this, a fellow YouTuber by the name of Triggerzolt made a good video on this topic titled why I use Windows 8.1 in 2021. He explains how with the use of gestures and other small details, for example the charms bar, Windows 8.1 was a lot better in terms of tablet usage than Windows 10 was. If you haven't watched this video yet, I suggest you go check it out, right after mine's of course. The second reason is a consistent Microsoft Store. Now if you cannot recall, Windows 8.1 basically had a store where you could download Microsoft's proprietary garbage onto your device. This store somehow went all its life without any major changes to its look and feel, meaning that the layout is identical to how it would have looked on day one of its release back in 2013. Compare that to Windows 10, which had had its store visual change, visual interface change so many times, it's pretty much a nightmare. They changed in 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2021, if I recall correctly, when Windows 11 came out. It's honestly a nightmare to relearn how to use something every couple of years, which is why I hope they don't do this changing the store thing to Windows 11. The third reason is a more vibrant UI. This one mostly became a problem on Windows 10 because of the number of updates it got, similar to the Microsoft Store, but on Windows 8.1 the UI was very colorful. Just look at this start menu and tell me with a straight face that this is boring to look at every day. Live tiles on Windows 8.1 flip all the time, and you can even set your own background behind your start screen. Well, uh, you can set one of the background that Microsoft put uh, bundled with it. When you put it in comparison to an earlier version of Windows 10, it still looks decently colorful, and there are still a few live tiles that flip. However, the live tile feature was slowly deprecated on Windows 10 apps around 5 years after Windows 10 came out, the start menu just looked completely super boring. And on top of that, Microsoft introduced theme aware tiles in October 2020, which I was personally not a fan of, as it took away the colorfulness of the tiles on the start menu. The fourth reason is more stable updates. Now if you can't recall, I've said that so many times this video, Windows 8.1 has had very few future updates throughout its life cycle, as Microsoft had mostly given up on 8.1 and were preparing Windows 10 to take over. This made the OS extremely stable, where your computer would actually work after updating, not coughing up some dumb errors with the programs you actually needed to use. Now with Windows 10? Yeah, it was a complete shit show. I remember back in 2016, they had this big update called the Anniversary Update. If you were around back then, you would have remembered how unstable that update was. It basically bricked any computers it would install on, and although it came out at the end of July, I only updated my computer when one of my classmates said it was safe to do so. The fifth reason ties more into the last reason but it's performance. Windows 8.1 is a lot better than Windows 10 when it comes to actual performance, especially on lower end hardware. And keep in mind around 80% of Windows tablets on the market in 2013-15 to had really junky specs, and the higher end ones were... When Windows 8 10 rolled around, Microsoft just forgot about trying to make Windows 10 run on lower end hardware, such as mechanical hard drives, in favor of new hardware. I remember back when Windows 10 1903 came out, I wanted upgrades so bad, I even called Microsoft support because the update wouldn't even install to my laptop. When I finally did get it installed, it was so slow that I ended up downgrading to Windows 8.1, which felt a whole lot smoother compared to Windows 10 1903. Even recently, when I upgraded my HP Envy to Windows 8.1 after downgrading it to Windows 7 because I'm a very stupid person, the boot time went down to only 13 seconds, comparing that to Windows 10 which took around 25 seconds to boot around double. You might think that's not a huge difference, but the lower the hardware you go, the bigger of a difference it is. 
Now I'm gonna talk about uh, things Windows 10 did better than 8.1. And even after making this entire video, I can still list a few things that Windows 10 did better. First, it brought back the start menu. Thank goodness for that. Next, it also helped bring the modern versions of Windows to the masses, even if it wasn't in a pretty unethical way. The new and rebranded Microsoft Store also allowed for UWP apps to be published, which allowed for desktop versions of iTunes and WhatsApp to come to the Microsoft Store and be installed on Windows 10 S systems. Finally, the regular feature updates helped Microsoft reiterate on Windows 10 and gradually fix the problems users were having, thus fill, fulfilling the Windows as a Service vision Satya Nadella had when he joined Microsoft. That's pretty much it for this video. While Windows 10 did majorly, majorly fix a lot of things people did not like about Windows 8.1, the latter still had its feats over the former. It will be sad to see Windows 8.1 go when it ends support next year. Although most of the public hated it, I had a lot of good memories with it and I will definitely miss it. I know that sounds a bit weird, especially sentimentally, but that's really just how I feel about Windows 8.1. If you don't like this video, don't subscribe, like, or comment, and I will see you all next time.